Okay, I'm going to show you how to create our new end of term assessments, which are now live. So if you go and make sure you're on the EdShed site, scroll down till you get to assignments. You're going to click create a single assignment. Once you're there, you're going to give it the title that you want. Pick your start date and end date. Click next. And then this is the new box here, end of term spelling assessment. If you click that, it gives you two options. You click the stage that you want to do and the term. And then you'll be given the option to limit options until test completed. That just means that if you click that on, the children will have to do the assignment before the whole site opens up for them. Click save. Choose the group or class that you want to assign them to. And then the teachers. And it will come up in your list. Now, if we click on the one I did slightly earlier, it will tell you the test status. So if they've completed it, or you can see here Kyle is currently in the process of completing it. He's not yet finished the test. He's only completed 23 out of 27 words. If I log on as Kyle and show you what it looks like. So as you can see, because I've limited the test, I'm not open up the rest of the site yet. I've got to complete the assessment before everything else opens up. Touch. Boxes. Looking. Helped. Okay, if I log out, so now you can see the whole site's opened up. If I log out as Kyle and go back on and refresh my site, you can now see that Kyle has now completed the test and it's just Amelia that has not started it yet. This On this page, it tells you the test status, how many they got correct, and obviously if there's any further action that needs to be taken. If you click on the skills tab, at the top, it gives you the words and the skills that are linked with it. So it tells you how many children got it correct and incorrect, and any that have an attempt, haven't attempted it yet. So if you click on the amount of pupils, it gives you a list. So you've got the pupils' names there. With each word, it does have the skill with it. And if you click on the skill, if there's a word list associated with it, it will bring up the word list. So you can assign that to the pupils that did not get it correct if you wanted to. And then if you go on to results, it also gives you the breakdown of the words they got correct with a tick. If they got it incorrect, it will give you the way they spelt it. And if they haven't obviously completed the test yet, it will come up with a dash.